Hi, my name is Abe Fettig, and today I'm going to give you a little tour of FilmLab 1.1. FilmLab is an app for mobile devices that lets you view and scan negative film. Uh, it's currently in version 1.1 for iOS, and the Android version is coming uh, later this year. First, I want to talk about a few prerequisites that you'll need to use FilmLab. First, you'll need a light source in the film that you want to view. So I'm using this Kaiser Slim Light Plano. It's a nice little LED light table. It has a built-in battery. The light is nice and even, and it's full spectrum, so it shouldn't create any uh, strange color artifacts. And then I have a roll of film in a classic print file sleeve that I can place on top of it for viewing. Now, a common question that people have is whether you could use an iPad or another device with a large screen as your light source instead of getting a dedicated light table. And the answer is that it is possible. The only problem is that if you put your film directly on top of an iPad, the way I have it on top of this light table, once you photograph an individual image and view it up close, you're actually gonna see the individual pixels of the iPad shining through. So it'll be this kind of red, green, blue pixel grid, making your image look kind of grainy and blocky. The solution for that is to get some kind of a diffuser, like a sheet of frosted acrylic and place it on top of the iPad. At the moment, I don't have a great source for that, but when I find one, I'll address that in an upcoming post. So for today, I'm going to use this Kaiser light box and a couple of other accessories, which are optional, but help make the process of using Film Lab a little nicer. First, I have a cotton glove. This is nice because I can actually touch my film without getting fingerprints on it. And then I have a close-up lens, which I'll be using in conjunction with my phone's camera. This is a Zome uh, close-up 12.5 times filter. It's actually just a simple diopter. It's a single element lens, similar to any close-up filter that you could screw onto a regular camera lens. It only costs about $10, including this little clip. Uh, and as you'll see, it's a very easy way to get slightly better image quality and higher resolution using Film Lab. So the first thing I'd like to demo is using Film Lab to make a proof sheet. Actually, first I'm going to turn the lights off so that you can see what I'm doing a little bit better and I won't have any reflections in my film. So you can see that when I hold my phone, uh, I'm using an iPhone 10 for this demo, over my light table, Film Lab automatically converts the film to color so I can get a preview of the images and see how they're going to look. It works with black and white negatives as well. To capture a proof sheet, what I'm going to do is pinch to zoom out so that I can see exactly what's going to be captured. And then in this case, since I have a small light table, I'm only gonna be able to fit about half my roll on it at once. So I'll line that up. And once I have what I want in my shot, I just tap the capture button and Film Lab captures my proof sheet. Now from here, I can zoom in if I want to see any of my images in detail and just check the quality of what I got. I also can use FilmLab's editing controls to set exposure and adjust color balance. So I'll adjust that a little bit until it looks the way I want it to. Then I can rotate it into its correct orientation and once everything looks good, I just hit export. And then save image. And now that's saved to my camera roll. So now I've finished making my proof sheet and there's one or two images in there that I like that I want to post on social media right away. So I'm going to digitize them with Film Lab. So the first thing I'm going to do is put on my glove here so I can touch my negative without getting fingerprints on it. I'm going to take my single strip of film out of the proof sheet and put it on my light table. And if I really want maximum quality, the best thing to do here would be to use a film holder. I'm going to use this prototype pixelator film holder. Using a film holder isn't a requirement, but it accomplishes a couple of things. 
First, it holds my film nice and flat so I don't get a warped image due to the film being curved. And secondly, it blocks out extra light so I won't get any reflections in my scan. The other thing that you wanna do is check and make sure that the lens on your device is clean. It's really easy to get fingerprints on your phone camera since you're carrying it around all day and your, your uh, capture won't be as sharp if you have fingerprints on there. So give it a little wipe. So now I'm going to clip my close-up adapter onto my camera. Just make sure it's centered over the lens. If you have a device that has two cameras, you might get better results with one or the other. I find that I get a little bit less distortion using the close-up lens with my iPhone X's telephoto lens, but you can use it with either one. To switch cameras in Film Lab, you tap this little 1x button to go to the 2x telephoto camera. The reason I'm using this close-up adapter is because it improves the minimum focal distance of my camera. If I take this off, you can see that as I get once I get within a few inches of my film, it gets very blurry. Even if I'm using the wide-angle lens, I can only get so close before I lose the ability to focus. So by using this close-up adapter, it allows me to get right up close and I can fill more of my shot with this individual frame. So here's the image that I want to keep. I'm gonna line it up and tap the capture button. And now I've captured it with FilmLab. FilmLab actually took a burst of raw images and then combined them to remove noise and get maximum image quality. And you can see that the amount of detail that I've been able to get using just my phone is pretty good. If you go in close enough, you will still see a little bit of noise, but it's pretty minimal. Now to crop, I use the crop tool and I drag it to set the corners. So there's my image. I can use any of the Film Lab's editing tools to adjust exposure or contrast. I'm going to warm this up a little bit using the color balance. And then once I have that ready to go, I hit the export button and save. And now I have that in my camera roll ready to post to social media.